all of us are wearing most of the time a face mask. There are many issues relating to that and we are trying to address it in, uh, several, with several technologies. Just to show you, we are very much tuned to what our customers are looking for and we are providing current technologies that are very affordable for the mass market. So the agenda for uh, this webinar is to enable you to formulate unique skincare beauty product using Salvona's technologies for everybody during COVID-19. Now it's COVID-20. So uh, this is the situation. So under this condition, at the end uh, of this webinar, you will know how to formulate product to one, protect your skin, and we will talk about antiseptic new technologies. And we also will show you how to retain the makeup while you are wearing a mask. Very practical issues that we are addressing in this webinar. Our product for this webinar will include the following. The first of all is Hydrosal BKC. BKC stands for benzoconium chloride. This is an antiseptic and anti-blemish ingredient. The second one is Hydrosal Color Seal. It's a technology to retain lip color, but not only lip, mostly um, um, punctuated points of color on your skin. The second, the third one is Hydrosal Makeup Fix. This is a technology for makeup setting. And this one will prevent the transfer of your makeup onto the mask. So very practical product that multiple companies could manufacture. You don't need to be a color-based cosmetic company, but any skincare that is handling liquids will be able to use the same ingredients. The formula you will see in a few minutes is very, very simple. So what is the enemy? What we are trying to uh, address to protect ourselves is from the COVID-19 virus. Okay, turn out that this is a, a coronavirus, is an envelope-based virus, which means it has an envelope that protects the genetic material. In this case, it's R&D. The material, the virus has some vulnerability. Yes, it's causing us a lot of damage, even killing, but if we understand better what are the vulnerability of the virus, we may be able to address it on the day-to-day -day basis, especially when it comes for topical applications. And my focus is on topical, not on digestible solutions. So what is our virus? So what you see here in this, in this uh, picture on the left side, you see an outside, the image of the virus and a cross section of the virus. So you see it's surrounded by protein spikes. These protein spikes help the virus to connect to different cells. And below it, you see the red line. This is lipid or fat. This is the, the barrier and the, and the layer that protect what is inside. Inside is the RNA, the genetic material. So uh, the proteins are very useful for the virus to adhere and transfer and multiply. However, the protein, the, the lipid around it is the most vulnerable material. And we are able to destroy it by soaps and disinfectant, okay? Soap and disinfectant can destroy the virus. That's why people recommend wash and wash with disinfectant. So this is the basic tool to protect us from coronavirus. Wash with disinfectant. So the disinfectant ingredients that we are promoting is called benzoconium chloride. This is a very effective antiviral. So what was found in the literature, in the clinical literature, is a concentration of 0.1% found to be antibacterial for many kinds of viruses and you see the abstract below. Then we also know that BKC is used commonly for many, many years as a preservative 
in many cosmetic ingredients and cosmetic products. And EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Agency, approved EPA as an effective antibacterial and antiviral. And I explain you in a minute, how does it work? Once we understand how does it work, we can make better use. You understand in my presentation, the first part is typically focused on the science. The second part is focused on the technology to solve the problem. And the third part is always relating to application, how to use it, okay? So what do we know about BKC? BKC is very effective antiviral for surfaces only, not when it virus get into the skin. So remember that BKC is good for topical applications. Now BKC is a water soluble material, therefore it's easy to be washed off. So we would like to know how can we better use BKC? So let's look at what's happening when we wear a mask. We typically have a lot of uh, rushes and sometimes we have acne. I'm not talking at this point about how to retain the makeup, but first of all, look at the rushes and the makeup and the acne, excuse me. Acne and blemish as well. So let's analyze the situation before we come up with a solution. First of all, a face mask can cause skin irritation. This is typically connect, uh, it could consider to be contact dermatitis, the professional word, and it's allergic reaction, which means it will come and it will go. You see in the picture why we have skin irritation. One of the reason is the mask is too tight on the skin. So we have a reaction to the soap, maybe to the fabric, and the tightness of the mask. So this is one issue that people are experiencing of skin irritation due to the material and to the way the mask is wear. The second aspect is when you have breakouts. This is now a different story. When we have breakouts, like you see in the picture, this is a result from a combination of trapped wet sweat, makeup, residue from the makeup, and all just dirt, dirt that is accumulated on the mask. These conditions typically clog the pores. When the pores are clogged, these are ideal condition to enhance P. acne bacteria growth. Okay, so now we clear about different situation and now we look at what solution we can offer and we'll focus on only the breakout. So what is the best technology that we can use against the breakout? Now I'm in the section of technology, trying to explain you what are the Salvona unique technologies that make easy to use both for the formulator and to the consumer. It gives you a benefit that can last longer because the special technology that we have of encapsulation and the technology overall offer a more effective way to use the functional ingredients. And it has to be skin friendly, environmentally friendly, and so on. The technology I would like to talk about is called Hydrosal BKC. Some of you already heard about this in my previous uh, presentation, but I will add the new part to this technology. So listen carefully, it can help you make a decision on why you should use hydrosal BKC as your major antiseptic. First of all, BKC and hydrosal BKC is a water-based technology. There is no alcohol. And you know that alcohol is drying out the skin. We don't want to dry out the skin because then we reduce the resistance, the ability of our skin to resist virus and bacterial. So we would prefer always to use alcohol-free solution. The technology is based on two major elements. One is the core. The core is something very porous that allows to encapsulate the functional ingredient. The pore could be liquid, semi-liquid, or solid. Depends on the design. Each hydrosal is different. In case of hydrosal BKC, it's a semi-solid solution. Outside, we have the shell. 
and the shell is the barrier to control the release of the functional ingredient from the core. In this case, all the functional ingredients, in other words, all the BKC is included in the core. The particle is very tiny, 0.1 to 0.3 micron. You can barely see it. It uh, makes a product safe. All the ingredients make the product safe. This product is vegan. It's not natural, but it's vegan. Of course, it does not need any preservative. So it's power bin free and it's clear as you can see in the picture. So multiple benefit to use hydrosol BKC as a water base, alcohol free, antiseptic. I will show you other benefit in a moment. So the product is approved by the EPA and you can see example of two products that use uh, BKC in, uh, in the uh, surface treatment and uh, antivirus antiseptic material. One of them is, but actually everything is detailed here. And you see that this um, materials, uh, this is only two out of many approved this year. The inky name is quaternary ammonium. The BKC is a quaternary ammonium. So what is new in this BKC? BKC code is 8102 and the new one is 05. Why and what's the difference with our five compared to the one that I presented in our previous one? The O5 is a new version. It is much more enhanced and improved. Here is why. Number one, it contains a higher level of BKC, 50%. So you need to use only two grams per kilo. Very small amount, very potent. Very small amount, reduce your expenses significantly. It's clear and compatible with most water-based thickener, cationic, non-ionic. You can use it in a wash, you can use it in a shampoo, you can use it in conditioner. Hydrosol BKC immediately kills a wide range of pathogens, including viruses. I gave you the reference before, and it can prolong the protection. This is a sensitive statement. I say it can prolong the protection. Now let's understand how it's all happening. First of all, how BKC help us to kill the bacteria and the virus? So let's look at the BKC structure. You see the um, cationic charge, okay? This is the hydrophilic and the hydrophobic chain. BKC is a family of molecules. It's not a single molecule. So you may see different names because sometimes the number of carbon we have in this chain can vary anywhere between the numbers you can see here and sometimes linear, sometimes with double bond, like you can see in this structure. You see, this is the ring with the cationic chain. This is the cationic chain. Here is this, the cationic charge without the ring. But this is the hydrophilic fraction of the molecule the water loving, it's polar as you can see. The other side is hydrophobic, very, very much lipid. The lipid particle you see could be a linear chain or could be even double chain with some, you see here, a double bond. This is called the hydrophobic region, okay? So now you know what is BKC by itself. How does it help us? knowing the structure. So let's look at this. The hydrophilic part, you see the red part here, the cationic region is able to destabilize the pathogen, the virus. It heats the surface and it forms an electrostatic interaction with the charges on the surface. So the way, it, the affinity, of the BKC to the virus is through electrostatic charges. Number one, how the hydrophobic help us. Hydrophobic region is able to enhance the penetration and breakdown of the lipid membrane, the shell of the virus, and that's what's actually causing the killing of the virus. So this is the coronavirus and our BKC is able to attack with the cationic upfront 
this is the ultimate um, unit, and then the hydrophobic will penetrate, cause a lysis explosion of the cell, and the virus is gone. So this is how it works to protect us from corona. So use this material. Now, how the hydro cell works, you can see in this illustration. So this is a general structure a image of our skin. And we spray or we wash the hydro cell. So you see the shell and the skin. So what's happening over time is the shell will flatten on the skin as the water will evaporate from the product. Water evaporates and now encapsulation happens. This is the second part of the encapsulation on the surface itself. Now it's stable. No BKC can actually release. The release is triggered with water. So outside water or sweat, for example, will break down the shell of hydrosol. As a result, the BKC will penetrate and reach the surface of the skin or whatever uh, we apply it on. So now we have uh, BKC on the surface and whenever a bacteria or a virus will hit the BKC, it's immediately attack it and kill it. So this is how it works. You see how the cells are totally gone. These cells are viruses or bacteria. Now, what happens in, on the skin, and this is something that cannot be predicted, it's the changes by person to person over time. Let's say you perspire later on more, then more of the BKC is being exposed. So it can release in certain uh, different times, every time when it is exposed to the water. Now we cannot say for sure how much is being, uh, how much will be released each time. That's why we are very limited with what we can claim as to longevity of the protection. We only can say how long the BKC can stay on the skin. So how do we know how long? So now I go into the actual data. And this is a data that we generated only recently. Uh, uh, to confirm our older data. And we did the test on skin. So it's a clinical study. And we use the four arms, like you see in this picture. We identify two locations and we apply a gel with the BKC. And people wear it for the day and do whatever they do every day. Now we used a method based on a unique system that's called Hygiena. Hygiena and the SNAP uh, uh, um, unit here enable us to rub the area at certain time and measure and get an estimate of the activity of uh, the bacteria. Maybe not only bacteria, also other ingredients or other um, biological uh, elements that produce ATP. So now you can see here, this is new data telling us the activity of BKC as it's applied on the skin over six hours. So we typically get immediately after application, it takes about a minute or two, and it kills all the bacteria and viruses that BKC can kill. So we normalize this unit as our 100% and we measure the ability of uh, the activity of killing over time and you see that actually the activity goes up with time. And it's explained by the fact that we perspire. And every time we release some more water, then we increase the release of BKC and increase the activity of BKC. So BKC can work on the skin for at least six hours. We didn't continue for longer time. And the activity is going up as it uh, is being used. So that's what we can say about BKC. This is an average of four people only. BKC and hydrocell BKC have been used and are currently being used in both clinical, skin, and domestic household. And a few examples are in front of you. 
uh, you see in liquids, it's being used in uh, wipes, it's being used in oral care. So the material is pretty safe for human use and also for the environment. You see hydrocell PKC in different, uh, in different products uh, for uh, surface, for skin. And uh, this is a product in Thailand that actually claims six hours protection and it's being used both on surfaces such as the mask and also on the hands. So this is a very practical technology that one can use tomorrow, if not today. Summarize, what's the benefit of hydrocell BKC? Number one, it lingers on the surface for hours, not like alcohol. Alcohol kills bacteria and viruses, but evaporates in seconds. So a minute later, you can get it back. However, this technology allows to extend the material, the antiseptic on the skin, indicating that it provides a better protection. This is the major difference and the major reason why to use hydrosal BKC compared to any alcohol base or just the BKC by itself, because the hydrosal make it linger. It's a non-toxic material. You can use it for children, you can use it for pets. It's skin friendly. It doesn't irritate the skin at the concentration that we are talking about. And it uh, will not dry your skin. Now you can combine, of course, other ingredients with this. And number four, it's non-flammable, not like alcohol, which makes it very easy to store and save uh, in everywhere in your house and in your purse even. So you see a couple of product, additional product that use um, hydrosal BKC, as you can see here, uh, disinfectant spray, water base. So now we covered in terms of technology, how to keep us protected from the virus. Let's move to the second part. And this is how to maintain the makeup while wearing the mask. So this is an issue that many people are concerned with. Um, they put the makeup on and the question, will it stay on? So makeup, you know, there are different type of makeups. You're familiar with this, I'm sure. So the first technology that can help us with this called hydrosol color seal. Okay, hydrosol color seal. It's a technology with the purpose of sealing the color. Color, which means the pigment, sealing the pigment onto the skin. So while you put it on, it stays on, okay? The technology is based on combination of different polymers that use to adhere the functional ingredient, in this case, the pigment, but you will see that you can use it for other functional ingredients. But now we are focusing on color cosmetics. So we talk about the pigments only, and it can adhere it to all kinds of surfaces, including the skin, the lips, and the hair. What else that you need to know about this, that you can use it to all kinds of liquid, localized makeup, such as lip color, mascaras, eyeliner, foundation, and so on. The technology is skin and environmentally very friendly. It's all water-based, no alcohol, no toxic materials. It's a vegan technology. You, we don't use any paraben and of course it's alcohol free. So you see our major focus is to provide you with technologies that you can use now to solve current issues at a very low price. This is our focus and our service. This is example of a packaging that would be suitable for lip color. I didn't call it lip gloss because it doesn't have to be glossy. It could be matte from my point of view, but the technology could be used in all kinds of lip treatment. Hydrosol color seal features, let's summarize. First of all, it's prevent transfer of pigment to the mask. This is number one. 
So whenever you put it on the lips, it stays on the lips. It's create a perfect makeup formulation for non-fading, non-running, and on smearing application. This is almost a dream requirement. It's water-based, so, but at the same time, it's drying very fast. In a seconds, it's already dry. It helps to disperse the pigments. So form, for formulators, it is important because it can disperse the pigments in water base. It's apply, apply it, it's very easy. As I mentioned, it dries quickly and evenly. It's very flexible. You don't feel like you have a layer on. It's very light. It will not flake. And you can wash it off either with a gentle rubbing or using uh, with soap, of course, or using sometimes some oils. But you need to rub it off if you want it off. So this is the big, uh, <laughs> the big promise here. So it will, not, it will not fade, but you need to work it out if you want it away. So this is Hydrosal Color Seal. Hydrosal Color Seal doesn't have to be used only on lips. It could be used on fingernail polishes, foundations, skin color, eyeliner, mascara, and so and so. Uh, this is a technology that is essential if you want to make a perfect makeup. Consider this. If you are a makeup manufacturer, uh, this is an essential element that has to go into your solution. So typically we talk about longer lasting, and this is a way how we design this product. This is a very long lasting technology, but it's not something that released into the skin, but onto the skin. So now you understand the concept of our technology and how it's connected to makeup. We want the makeup to stay longer. This is a makeup setting. So makeup setting is a different concept. Um, this is a different technology with different materials. And this is a technology to make a perfect setting spray. What does it mean setting spray? A spray that you apply after you put your makeup and it's sweat proof, non-transferable, will not transfer to the mask. If you're curious to see, I will show you how. It's a rub resistance, high flexible film. It dries very quickly. Of course, it's water-based because we don't forget our mission is to support consumer with healthy product. So we cannot use alcohol in any of our formulations. And of course, it's vegan, it's all synthetic materials, it's weightless. So this is the concept of the second technology called Hydrosal Makeup Fix. You see what it does? It practically builds up a layer on the skin and on top of the makeup, and it's holding everything set. So the technology allows to encapsulate different type of ingredients, not specifically color. This is no color is involved here at all. Not like the first technology, the hydrosal color seal. Here is not. Now you can combine this technology with other functional ingredients to generate some very exciting solution, such as moisturizing material, hydrating. And I explained last time the difference between moisturizing and hydrating. Moisturizing our lipids, which will build up the barrier properties. Hydrating is just to add molecules that holds the hydration, the water. You can also add molecules that give you a free freshening sensation and many other benefits that will come up over our next uh, broadcast and next webinars. So this is our hydrosal makeup fix. So to summarize until this point, I introduce you three technologies. Hydrosal BKC version 05, which is double dose, longer lasting. Number two is hydrosal color seal, for example, for lips, for eyeliner, and so. And number three is hydrosal makeup fix. All these are available to you on our website. You can read more about them, you can see more, and you can even request samples and get them. Uh, now, let's look at part number three of my webinar. 
uh, and we are going into formulations. The question is, okay, so how to use it? So here are a few examples. In this broadcast, I have three examples. The first one is an anti-blemish skin protection wash. This is what exactly it does. So it contains two technologies of Salvona. One of them is hydrosal BKC. This is to protect us from the bacteria. And then we have Salsphere skin protection. This is another technology, but doesn't have any antiseptic. It's a technology that helps us repair our barrier properties to retain the moisture that we have and enable us to protect ourselves from environmental hazardous properties. So we suggest typically to add an exfoliating cleanser, an exfoliating, excuse me, exfoliating agent to the cleanser. Uh, uh, this is how it typically works. So uh, we use salicylic acid. And why we use salicylic acid? We have a great technology for salicylic acid and it's help us, the salicylic acid help us with the cell turnover. So what do we want to achieve? We want to clear our pores because if the pores are clogged, we may have acne, blemishes, inflammation, and so on. So we don't want this. In order to avoid this from happening, we need continuously exfoliate and have accelerated turnover of cells. Then we want to clear the pores to prevent the blemish, of course, and acne. This is the suggested formula. This is a wash formula. And you see that we use, um, we use water, six, about 63%. The thickener is xanthan gum. We use propandiol. We use hexyl resorcinol, suggested ingredients. This is, helps with whitening as well. This is also a very good antioxidant. Betaine is, of course, our surfactant and forming agent. This is our thickener, and we use skin protection, one number one technology at 4%, and hydrosal BKC, it's 4%. If you use version of five, then you can use less than this. Now let's go and see how to formulate. We go back to Brian. The beaker for this skin protection hand wash is EI water. Next, we will make a pre-blend of Soligum AX and Zimea. Soligum AX is a synergistic blend of Xanthan gum and Acacia Senegal gum. It is a natural thickening, stabilizing, and texturizing polymer. We are pre-mixing it with the Zimea or propane dial to aid in its water solubility. Now that it is fully dispersed in the Zimea, we will add it to the water, and this will thicken the water considerably, so much to the point where we will increase the propeller speed so that it, it continues to mix properly. Next, we will create another free dispersion, this time with hexyl resorcinol and Zimea. And again, the Zimea is the solvent being used to aid the hexyl resorcinol in going into the water phase, and the hexyl resorcinol itself is a skin brightening agent with some antioxidant and astringent properties. And by providing antioxidant protection, hexyl resorcinol can also help neutralize free radicals in the environment. Now that our dispersion is clear and uniform, we will add it to the water phase. The next ingredient that we will be adding is amphotensin B5, which is coca mitopropyl betaine. This is a cationic medium strength foaming surfactant. And the reason we're using it is because it helps to reduce irritation that purely ionic surfactants would normally cause. The next ingredient that we will be adding is called Cephalife Nude. This is a sustainable cold process thickening, stabilizing, and texturizing polymer. This will help to thicken our hand soap and give it a nice feel when it is used on the skin. Now, the first of our two technologies, Salisphere Skin Protection, will be added to the formula. Salisphere Skin Protection forms a breathing shield layer on the skin to protect the skin from environmental factors. It also helps restore the skin to a healthy state by preserving and delivering multifunctional ingredients. The final ingredient and the second of our two technologies that we will be adding is Hydrocell BKC. 
which is the encapsulated benzylconium chloride that is activated by water. Now we will allow this to mix until uniform and our skin protection hand wash is done. This is our skin protection hand wash that contains Salisbury Skin Protection and Hydrosol BKC. As you can see, it is quite thick, like a nice hand wash should be. Here is the application of the hand wash. Not very much is needed, but it is very spreadable and creates a nice rich lather. So since there is Hydrosol BKC, in this hand wash, once it has been applied and then washed off, the hydrocell BKC has formed the film on your skin and remains even after wash off, so that when your hands come in contact with any water, uh, the BKC can be released and kill any bacteria present. Thank you, Brian. It always seems so easy when we see Brian is doing it. Uh, the technology you see is straightforward, um, allows you to create formulas, uh, products at room temperature. You don't need to heat it. Uh, you don't need a, a special homogenization. Uh, product are added one after the other, pretty easy, looks pretty easy to do. Um, this product does not contain salicylic acid. Excuse me if I said before, it has suggestion to add salicylic acid. The Skin Protect is uh, used in this case to provide additional protection from the environment. BKC is the protection from bacteria and from coronavirus. So this is the concept of this product. Let's move on and see our next product. This is an anti-blemish facial lotion. And it, this one has hydrocell BKC and Salsphere even skin. So BKC, you are familiar with the functions of BKC as an uh, antiseptic. Even skin is used with salicylic acid to remove the pore clogging that skin cells uh, to reduce the sebum. The fatty acid and sebum are actually becoming the food for bacteria that may cause acne and breakouts. So it also helps with uh, inflammation of different kinds, not so much with the rushing, but for inflammation that's caused by bacteria. So this is the product, the lotion. Uh, it's a very light product. It's again, it has about 66% water. It has cornstarch. We try to show you some natural solutions as much as we can. Uh, to reduce either um, uh, synthetic materials to make it more skin friendly and so and so. So many of the products that we use in the formula are of natural source. We also use a non-preservative as a preservative. So uh, you can see uh, this is the non-preservative as a preservative and the two technologies. In this case, hydrosal BKC is used only at 1%. And Salsphere even skin is used at 5%. Of course, you can use a lower concentration, depends on the severeness of the issue you want to handle. But the point is that this is a nice way to use salicylic acid in a water-based product. Let's the come back. The ingredient that we have in the beaker is just DI water for this lotion. And the first thing that we will add to the water is a little bit of cornstarch. This is going to help reduce the tackiness and oiliness in the final lotion, and it can also help to opacify it. Our next step is to make a premix of xanthan gum and propane diol. The xanthan gum will eventually thicken the water phase, and we are premixing it with the propane diol to aid in its solubility into the water. Now that the xanthan gum is well dispersed in the zamea, we will add it to our formulation. This should thicken the formulation a small amount, so increasing the propeller speed may be necessary. Now we will begin to work on our oil phase. The first ingredient is crotomol isis, which is isosterol isosterate. This is an emollient used to provide a rich feel and improve the spreadability of your final formulation. Next, we will add some glycerol stearate to the crotomol isis. 
This is our primary emulsifying surfactant, and it also helps to stabilize the product, decrease its water evaporation, make it freeze resistant, and keep it from forming surface crust. The next ingredient that we will be adding to the oil phase is cocoa glucoside. This is going to be our secondary surfactant and will help to build the viscosity of our formulation. The next ingredient that we will be adding is cetyryl alcohol. This can also be known as cetyl sterol alcohol. This emollient will help to soften the skin and will also help to stabilize our final product. The next ingredient that we will be adding is coconut oil. This will provide the moisturizing power to our final formulation. The next ingredient that we will add to the oil phase is squalene. This is a very common emollient used in a lot of formulas, and here we're using it to help reduce the transepidermal water loss on the skin and restore the skin's suppleness and flexibility. Now that our oil phase and water phase are at temperature and both are com completely uniform, we will begin to slowly add the oil to the water phase. Now that our oil and water phase are completely together, we will allow it to mix at temperature for about 10 to 15 minutes. Next, we will allow it to cool to room temperature to add our final three ingredients while continuing to mix. Now that our formula has cooled to room temperature, we can add our technologies and our preservative. The first ingredient will be the preservative, Lincozerve WPHLO. This is going to help our formulation be resistant to any bugs or bacteria. Now, the first of our two technologies will be added. This is Hydrocell BKC, which is encapsulated benzylconium chloride that is activated by water. So when it is applied in something like a lotion like this, it forms a film on the skin with BKC inside of that film. In the presence of water, the film breaks down and releases the BKC to kill bacteria. Now the final ingredient and the second of our two technologies, Salsphere Even Skin, will be added to the formula. This is encapsulated salicylic acid that is used for exfoliation. And what's nice about this ingredient is that there is no irritation normally associated with salicylic acid due to it being encapsulated. This also allows for a higher loading of salicylic acid versus free salicylic acid. This is our anti-blemish face lotion that contains hydrocell BKC and salisphere even skin. As you can see, it is consistent with what most lotions would look like. Characteristic white color, not runny, but also not really thick, like a cream. Here is the application of the anti-blemish face lotion. Obviously, it would normally be used on the face, so this is being used on the hand here. Only a very small amount is needed. It absorbs very easily, and once it is absorbed, there is no tackiness or tugging. It is very smooth and hydrating. Perfect, thank you very much, Brian, and the lab team, uh, excellent job. Uh, they show you how to formulate, and I hope you will join us um, also for future events when we are sharing knowledge about formulation. This is our purpose in Salvona University. You don't have to use exact formula, you can just learn of how we incorporate ingredients in what order and under what conditions. So we handle the issue of blemishes and acne that may, some people may suffer because of wearing the mask. Now let's look at the most fun part is how to keep the lip color on the lips and not transfer them to the mask. You probably are familiar when you put the lip, a lip gloss or lip balm or whatever color you put, and you put your mask on and it's transferring the material onto the mask. Question is, can we prevent it from happening and how to do that? And that's what we're going to focus on the next two minutes. So let's look at the long lasting lip color with hydrosal color seal. This is the technology that I introduced you before, hydrosal color seal. So the product itself is made from the following ingredients. You see the number one ingredient is hydrosal color seal, 65%. And in addition to this, we have of course water and other ingredients that make it smooth preservative and of course the color in this case we use two different colors. Now how it's being used we go back to Brian. Here is regular DI water and now to that water we will add some butylene glycol 
which is a humectant and conditional agent that helps improve the texture of the skin. Butylene glycol is known to be one of the most effective humectants and conditioning agents that can be used. Next, we will add a small amount of glycerin, which is very similar to the butylene glycol in terms of its function. It is also a humectant and conditioning agent, but it is not as effective as butylene glycol. The next step will be to add some PNC400 to this formula. The PNC400 is a pre-neutralized sodium carbonate, which is used to thicken and give high yield in the water. So we will allow this to wet for about half an hour and then continue mixing. The next ingredient that we will be adding to this is Clucel EF. This is a thickener and film former. So this will help our pigments disperse very well across the skin when we would apply it. The next ingredient that we will be adding is our technology Hydrosal Color Seal. This is a mix of polymers used to form a film that will hold the pigments in place, effectively sealing the color in. The next ingredient that we will add is Uxol PE9010. This is our preservative that will help to prevent any bugs from growing in this formula. And now we will add our pigments to the formula, the first of which is a 40% red iron oxide dispersion in Zamea. So this is going to be what gives our formula the vibrant red color. Next, we will be adding the white pigment to our formula. This is a 25% dispersion of titanium dioxide in propane dial. And once this has been allowed to mix and become uniform, and by uniform I mean no pigments are floating or are, can be seen in the formula, then it is done. This is our long lasting lip care formula, similar to a red lip gloss. This contains our hydrosol color seal technology. As you can see, it is very liquidy while in this container, but when it is applied, it dries quite quickly. Here is the application on the back of a hand. Just some light strokes. And just make sure that you have an even application and now allow it to dry. Now that a few minutes has passed and it has been allowed to dry, you can see that even when a considerable amount of force is applied, there is no transfer of color. Even after multiple passes in multiple directions, still no transfer of color. Wonderful. This is a very good solution. And I want to show you what uh, our, our panel is saying about this. So this is Claudia. I'm sure you know Claudia by now. Uh, she likes to put this uh, uh, lip color on her lips. Uh, then, of course, in, at work, um, we have wearing mask. So she used the mask for the day. And at the end of the day, she showed me what left on the lips and what lips, what transferred to the mask. As you can see, the mask is pretty clean. So this is our Claudia. This is Pauline. You don't know, I don't know if you're familiar with Pauline, but Pauline doesn't like to use lip balm on, or lip color on uh, at work, but she tried to use our technology on. Then she of course wear it, but she was so skeptical. She had to push the mask on it to make sure that it transfers. And at the end of the day, you see nothing transfer to the mask. Still, everything is on the lips. So this is, looks like a great technology, very easy to do um, with colors or even without colors to put it on top of the lip gloss or lip, or lip uh, stick. Now, um, now let's look at the general makeup. Can the general makeup stay on? You're familiar with this probably. Uh, many women complain about this. However, when they use our technology, that's what they get. So Hydrosal Makeup Fix technology is able to prevent the transfer of the makeup, any kind, including foundation, onto the mask. 
So let's look at Karen's experience with this technology. Uh, you see she has two, um, two masks. The bottom one is with hydrosal makeup, without hydrosal makeup fix. You see that it's transferred the makeup. On the top we have with the hydrosal makeup fix, it's clear. So this is our, um, make our mask. This is the mask that Karen started with. So we ask her to put again her makeup on and to, she put again and you see the area that she put it in, in purpose, totally different color. So we can watch what happens to this. So this is the area on her left side. Now she sprayed the technology on, let it dry in a second, then wear the mask for some time. And after wearing the mask, sweating a lot, then uh, removing the mask and you can see what exactly happens. The makeup is still in place and the mask is clean. So again, you see, uh, now you can see Karen happy when she has a clear mask and the makeup is staying on. It works not only for Karen, it works for many other people like Diane. So this is an opportunity for me to introduce you our team. So I showed you before Claudia, Pauline, Karen, and this is Diane. Diane put the makeup on her right side and uh, then she sprayed the technology on. She was wearing the mask for some time. She removed it just to take a picture and you see the makeup is still in this area and the mask is clean. So uh, we come back now to Claudia because Claudia also uses the makeup and she put the spray on the uh, mask on and of course at the end of the day the mask was clear. So this is Claudia experience and I'm sure you can experience and get the same results. So this is about our technologies for this time. So let's summarize our event today. You learned how to formulate three unique product concept with advanced technologies. We wanted to demonstrate you that it's easy and effective to use Salvonas technologies. I just want to add, it's also cost effective because some people may think, oh, it's a very expensive technology. So let me tell you, it's not. So the first technology, the first concept that I introduced was the anti-blemish uh, skin protection a wash with BKC and uh, South Sphere skin protection. The second one was the anti-blemish face lotion with hydrosal BKC and even skin, which is encapsulated salicylic acid. And the long lasting lip care, which based on hydrosal color seal. We don't have enough time to show you number four, which was the makeup fix. We will show it on a next dander event. Uh, I just want to make sure that you see that high cell sphere skin protection is a very effective technology by itself without the BKC and it gives a very good feel to the skin, a protective feel, and many consumers like this technology. So I would like to thank you for participating in this exciting webinar and hope you can uh, share the information, spread the technology, but do not spread the virus. So if you're interested in raw materials, of course, we offer them online. If you are interested in a finished product based on these technologies, please connect with Advanced Beauty Lab. Advanced Beauty Lab is a contract manufacturer company that utilizes exclusively Salvona's advanced technology. The way to connect is to use the website, which is advanced beauty labs, S at the end, one word, dot com, or you can contact directly with Jeff Gohau at 609-270-9359. He will be happy, he will be very useful, very happy to help you try this option as well. So keep connecting with us, keep in contact. You'll see my phone number. Uh, the office phone number works 24 seven. I give you my private phone number. You can connect me by email or by different applications. We would love to talk to you and to hear what's your conclusion out of Salvona University agenda. The next webinar scheduled right now for October 28, 10 a.m. anti-aging natural technologies 
please register now. It will be in English and in Spanish. And it's a good time in the morning so we can reach uh, Latin America's countries uh, as well. Until then, please use the website. Uh, we are watching um, who of you is actually ordering samples. We are offering our services, a formulation, and please contact us by using the website at www.salvona.com, contact for further information. I know many people are watching us and thinking this technology is amazing. However, it's probably very expensive. We cannot offer, afford it. So I want to relax you. These technologies are very cost effective. And if you don't believe us, please contact us. Please contact our distributor, whether it's in the West Coast, Norfolk, in the East Coast is Maroon. In California, it's uh, Deepak with the companies. Please contact and find out how much it costs. You will be surprised. Thank you and take care.